Hello everybody. Welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshi Yagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a long time ago. Well, Sophia, so close up. This is a 4x5 reversal film. Put the lens on the 4x5 camera, the upside down to get this close-up image. Well, the, anyways, I have this image and I also I made this pencil line type image by Adobe Photoshop. Used filter called Find Edges. And uh, I'm gonna make some kind of, well, watercolor type image I try out today. Well, let's get started. Okay. I'm gonna move this empty layer in between these layers too. And uh, let's see the pencil draw uh, pencil drawing type image. This lines. Yeah, that'll help so much to draw this image. Well I'm gonna change layer mode normal to darken so we can see through underneath. And also I'm going to change this base image blend mode. Opacity toned down to about, well, about 40% or so. So we can see through both lines and uh, colors and stuff. Okay, watercolor paint um, brush, watercolor round detail. Um, I'm going to draw the lines I can see now. Well, that's all I see now from this pencil drawing type. But let's see, we see have more. Here we see now. That may be different color though. change the opacity of the base image it's going to show different lines I didn't realize when I was shooting up close now looking at the image real real close up so I see this that's so much amazing huh okay now even the same blue color on Sapphire, it's totally different blues. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. Now then I'm going to paint one of these. Change the brush. Watercolor wash flat. Then turn this image down. This area has a little bit more yellowish brown. Now I want to go more white area and much more saturation. Now I want to add layer and overall blue color in this base.
Okay, I'm gonna add layer and uh, put dark, dark blue and light blue. Then march down. Like uh, this is a light blue area. This is different blue area. Now it's pretty dark blue area. Okay, then I'm gonna turn up. Well, before march down, I'm gonna just a little bit more ooze, no color, just let's see the ooze. Yeah, I want to fix this layer. I want to get more detail. Well, this is the main part. It took so long time. Okay, go surround these diamonds. Let's see. I just want to curious. Just see this blend mode changed. Well, let's see. Um, color burned. Touch more sharper edge. Now leave color burn 100 now. Then this one. This is a line. Just on about 30% now, then these colors now. Okay, just a little bit. Then base. Yeah, give us more, just different version. Then base color, how's this? Yeah, give it more sharper and uh, different, different impression, uh, impression compared to normal. Just to lighten up base. This is overlay. Well, if it's, I think the watercolor, then maybe should have some watercolor textures. Well, just leave it now. This each layer has each blend mode now. Yeah. Just leave it this way. Then color burn this line, a pencil drawing type. I just add the color like. Well, I may. Let's see about this. Get some texture of the watercolor. Let's add watercolor image again around these diamonds. Looking at this, uh, it's color burn. Long image, turn this one down, you'll see. So I'm gonna just multiply this pencil drawing type so we see this pencil line image. Now I'm gonna add on this base image layer for these diamonds surround the sapphire. Okay, that's really so nice. Okay, I'm gonna use round detail again and now light gray. Add gray color on uh, this surround. I have this base image now and uh, well turn 
then this image about 60% then I have this sapphire well I want to try this um, turn this one down you see the blue watercolor I added but uh, this time I just want to try the background well this is gray color on the base when you turn this one now then you see this image color just gray well I'm going to turn this one back on then uh, oh well this is overlay now no wonder doesn't show much well if it go darker or linear burn goes show up this blue color okay now everything turn on and uh, let's see overall image how it looks like and uh, I'm gonna add background to see same time I'm gonna add layer here over this base image then I'm gonna go for choose watercolor round detail again then take orange a little more reddish then I'm gonna add a wash color wash soft change the blue color and we can make some interesting watercolor texture okay now I see this image here not yet I'm going to turn this on this is just multiply and this one is no more color now it's sapphire I'm looking at this is overlay this one is base color now this is overlay okay I just add this color here I'm gonna make well let's see I want to make create empty mask then invert mask now I'm gonna reveal with painting to wet brush one okay I want to add some different color around here um, use that watercolor wash soft I'm gonna go with some nice color green and change to orange it's so nothing about 60% on base image yeah about 60% now I see a review to show this ring right here it's out of focus though Anyways, okay, reveal with same brush. Mm, not much showing, huh? Well, other than that, I'm gonna add some background color more or change this color to be more pop up something. No, color burned fine. How about background? This is normal. Yeah, normal is fine. Well, I just want to add something. Now I'm going to clean up this mask. Yeah, I guess 
just hide yeah just touch cleaner before now yeah that's a little more cleaner then uh, let's see about this color mm, kind of I'm gonna erase this uh, soft round valuable pretty big size more softer yeah well I can play around all day long to get this background I think just shadow blue I don't know if you can see on this video but I think these colors base color sapphire this is overlay vivid overlay and this one is same thing overlay then I don't use this this is too much dark lines so I'm gonna delete this now this one is pencil drawing type image now multiply to let's see different color hmm difference exclusion subtract divide divide makes more shiny image this is overlay darken multiply yeah multiply is more sharper looks all right well just uh, sapphire rings close-up image well i hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea for your creative work and uh, thank you for watching my video well you guys have a nice day and uh, see you next time bye now ciao i'm thinking of background again well, nice day.